Whatever you are doing, if you're still in bed, just stay in bed, but take a moment. It's a Friday. We made it. I know it's been a tough week, but we have done it. Welcome to your Feel Good Kickstart to the Weekend Right Show. My name is Graham Richards. This morning is a jam-packed show filled with, I think, probably most notably, a ton of prizes and not just any prizes, some truly phenomenal prizes. I know you guys and I know that you are going to absolutely love this. We're going to have a lot of fun this morning. We're going to be chatting sport. We're going to get back into the kitchen and of course, we're going we're gonna to give away as many prizes and happiness as we possibly can. In fact, let's whet your appetite just a little bit. Carl, what are we giving away today, my brother? Prizes are so important to have on a Friday, I can guarantee you that. And today we want to know on social media something very, very special. And that is what your favorite feature is of the Samsung Galaxy. And this is an S20 FE smartphone. The great thing about this particular phone is the fact that I'm giving away four of these today right here on Expresso. So all you have to do is go to Twitter, you can go to Facebook, you can hashtag Galaxy S20 FE, you can hashtag uh, Samsung Mobile SA, you can hashtag Expresso Show, hashtag, hashtag if you need to. Either way, I want to give you that smartphone today so make sure you win it and get your hands on that and don't even turn away from your TV we'll be here with massive entertainment and of course chances to select gospel tracks from Jared Ricketts on a Monday take a look good morning to you team oh, a good beautiful ladies that was just a little taste tester we're gonna let them get set up to take us through our morning beauty routine but I'm gonna throw another hashtag into the mix just seeing as we've just got the weekend to survive before we can enjoy another beautiful gospel Monday hashtag gospel Mondays maybe don't use it just yet but we want to know from you which is going to be your choice we absolutely love having Jared Ricketts the original the OG when it comes to our gospel Mondays performing every Monday morning to lift your spirits and he's gonna be doing it again but we need your help we need you guys to help us decide which song he is going to be singing and these are your options and you can go onto the Express Morning Show Facebook page or Twitter and you can vote and we'll bring you the results of those polls um, these are your choices you deserve the glory and the honor as the dear pants for the water blessed be the name of the Lord some original hits there um, he's digging deep into his vault of amazing songs and he's going to perform one just for you so give it a gander go and have a look at and tell us which one you would like to see performed for our Gospel Monday. Good morning to you, team. A very good morning to you, South Africa. Ikamalam Gugusha Adams. Of course, when I am in the beauty room, I am with my favorite girl. <laughs> oh, not smart. Girl. Today we're talking about something that's very important, yes. especially during the summer season, light and refreshing. That is exactly how I would describe my favorite scent when it comes mm. to summer fragrances. Choosing the right fragrance I know is not always the easiest thing to do. And I'm sure our beauty and fashion editor, Nox Muff, who can back me up on this one, right? Yes, it's a difficult, difficult task, but mm. there's so much to choose from. And once you find the scent that works for you, mm. it is gonna be your best friend in summer. And I wanna start with that exactly. I'm seeing very pretty bottles <laughs> over there. What is your favorite scent out of the three we have? So actually like, you know, it's tough because mm. I really love a fruity kind of scent. So you'll find that the trends at the moment, we're really focusing on more your fruity notes mm. when it comes to fragrance. And this is actually my favorite, right? Now I love this because it has a powdery kind of rose bouquet, mm. very much a romantic and modern kind of timeless smell, right? Mm. And I love the range because they different notes to it, but really this lands with warm amber yeah. kind of notes um, so it has a more woody kind of thing mm -hmm. but still with that fruity palette that I love so the Fleur kind of this is my favorite one um, I, I love, love the that. packaging it's so stunning so if I had to choose this one is my favorite is it it is <laughs> oh my goodness how is it different from the rest of the the fragrances we have here all right so the Fleur range really like we said it really is for the modern timeless woman mm. so if you look between the range here I gave you here which is more the pink range we've got here the kind of bouquet which is the green oriental kind of smells mm. so a lot more your green fruity bases um, I'd call this the more modern kind of smell really easy to kind of go between the days so for instance I'd wear 
wear this if I'm going to at lunch okay. or a picnic. Very much a daytime okay. smell, aligned to nature, mm. very fresh and very, very um, easy to put on. And I always find that the greatest tricks in putting on fragrance to make sure it lasts mm. the whole day is to maybe just do it outside of a shower or to make like a Vaseline or put Vaseline first and then you put your, your spray. And actually that makes it stay longer. So what? any petroleum jelly and you keep it there straight after a shower Put your stuff on there because the moisture over, um, you know, in your shower mm. and the steam actually lets the fragrance seep in. And you find that it really does complement your natural pheromone so mm. easily. So I love the Fleur range. And then, of course, my favorite also is the Heartlight range, a very romantic kind of um, series. Um, and this one particularly is called the Bella Rose, which is really, really lovely. I need lovely. to smell this one because sure. already I am attracted to how slick and stylish the bottle exactly. and the packaging is. Look and feel are everything and of course oh. if you like how lovely to oh sign, my gosh give it a spot and then just maybe like dab it which dab, is also dab, another dab, exactly dab, dab. and you'll start to see it like kind of smell into your skin it's beautiful i'm smelling flowers flowers so okay top notes are kind mm -hmm. of your lime your blood orange your tangerine yeah and then your more hearty notes now are kind of very like fruity like you're mm. saying there but really a lovely compliment so this is more for date night i say that one is gorgeous make them fall in love with you with you know this. what smell this one is my favorite. Actually. Love that. We were obsessing over the fleur. The yes, first one that you yes, said is your favorite yes. for the longest time. And I think the girl over here, she said, hold up. I'm arriving. I'm okay. arriving. And, and this is a mm. great range. And the Hot Light range also yeah. has a number of different variants. So mm. this is particularly Bella Rose, which is a new one for us. So of course, you're yeah. probably resonating to that a little bit more. But such a lovely range. Such great, you know, specials for it. So get that fragrance for summer, girl. These fragrances are truly exciting. As Knox and I always say, oh, Greta, we want to be like... Oh, so that wow. Well, lasting well, impact. <laughs> you can get that by expressing the inner you this season with your perfect scent from Woolworths and get up to 30% off on selected fragrances if you shop them online at Woolworths today. Now, this is a one day online deal only. Now, it's a Friday, why not? So make sure that you get your hands on the best fragrances available at Woolworths right now. We also continue with the beauty trend after this.
It's my feel good breakfast show. Bet you thought that the crazy store is the last place you'll find beauty products. Mm -hmm. Well, think again, because their range of personal care products, it is absolutely crazy. So the next time you visit a store near you, don't walk out of the doors before checking out their home health care products and beauty essentials that will leave you feeling like a million bucks. Now, if I'm being honest, I'm looking at my nails and they look a little bit bland and I think I need some help. Girl, if those <laughs> look bland, what about mine? Zoe, stop playing games. But while having an eye-catching, manicure is a great idea all year round. There's something about summer that makes you feel a little bit more adventurous, whether it's embracing ultra-bright colors, fresh new textures, stylish shapes, or daring designs. Now is the time to shake it up and switch it up. And I think I know someone who can help a girl out. Zoe, I'm gonna need your help again. Okay? okay. On three, we snap our fingers. One, two, three. Ah, <gasps> Jade! What have we done here? <laughs> Abracadabra, and I need that magic on my nails right now, Jade. My Firstly, Abracadabra nails. Yours are looking stunning. Thank right, you. Zoe, they my are, Halloween they theme. Mermaid nails? Yes. Oh, Love beautiful. It. Love it. Jade, when it comes to, you know, nail trends, what would you say going into summer is a must-have for on our nails? Abstract. The crazier, Abstract. the better. The more things you can put on your nails, the better. <laughs> Every finger different, you're a winner. Okay. I like to do strange little pictures everywhere. And design. And I love glitter. When in doubt, add glitter. <laughs> it fixes everything. Always and forever. You know, the Crazy Store's Voy range is actually one that's really exciting. Apart from the nails, I see they also have wet wipes, which is an essential part when it comes to beauty products. Does it guarantee, you know, a perfect result? Well, let's taste it. Let's yes, taste please. it out. You know what? A good makeup wipe is one that is moist, and this one's that. Oh, I love that. I'm just going to wipe my hands. Oh, it's, it's amazing. And it's the real. scent is the scent. It smells incredible, too. So mm. I'll definitely use this to wipe off my makeup. I mm. love so. it. I love it. So, Jade, there's so much for us to play with here. What um, are you here to teach us? So, what I want you ladies to, to, to do today mm -hmm. is just do whatever you want. If you want to put a leaf on it, run outside, grab a leaf and get a leaf <laughs> on your nail. That is what nail art is about. Enjoying yourself, passion, mm. fun, mm. what you like, not what somebody else likes. Do your nails for what you like. Well, you're the one that's going to look at it, so of course you need to do it for yourself. Yes. Mm. Okay. I've always wanted to know, how can I make my nail polish last longer? Mm. So let's start with the application of nail polish. Okay. okay. What many people don't know is that you need to apply at least three layers. And you also need to give a 15 minute time in between layers for it to dry completely through oh. if you want long wearing cutex. Mm. So it takes time, but it's worth the effort. So this... <sighs> No, no. A fan over it does no. not work. So what happens is you, you dry the top layer of your cutex mm -hmm. and then the bottom doesn't dry properly through and then you, you pull up your zip and then, oh no, your nail's smudged. Gosh. It's, it's because it's not dried through. Cutex dries from the bottom through to the top. So in terms of the brush strokes, is there a specific technique? Well, with Q-Tex you can play because you obviously you can just wipe it off if you don't get it right, mm. which is lovely about it. And with holiday coming up for your kids, you need to keep them busy. This is so pretty. I love the color that I've chosen for myself. I've got for blue. I've got yes. pearl. Huh? Which one is that one? Oh, a pearl. Oh, oh it's beautiful. I so. love the shimmer. So I'm going to give this well. a second to dry. So I want to be fancy and add dots. Okay. Can I use some of your pearl? Yes, you can. So I would suggest you put some in that little palette over there, that plate of yours. Okay. And then you just put a little blob of it into the plate. Intense precision is required when painting your nails. It reminds me of back in kindergarten when, you know, you're painting and you're doing all of those things, but now it's with the vision and with the purpose. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. So Let's you're going to make dots. I'm going to make dots. Do you have to think about it? Just go. <laughs> go with it. There we go. I'm, I'm, I brought my fancy little professional brush. I'm going to paint a flower. <laughs> I'm thinking this. You've just given me an idea, actually. Since I've gone with blue, I'm going to try 
get clouds in here, the sun as Ooh, well. Clouds are very in. And also this length of nails, Zoe, is this your thing? Can you imagine this? <laughs> it's stiletto. <laughs> Is a this stiletto. a stiletto? Yes, mm. but it's it's more place for fun, you know? Yeah. So I thought these would work great. I love stiletto nails, but I feel like they're so impractical for I don't me. know how people have <laughs> such long nails, but I wanted to ask you, in terms of nail shape, Yes. there are so many different shapes available. You just said this, this is a stiletto. For the summer, is there a particular trend? Almond. Almond is the in trend. Almond, almond all the way. An almond shaped yes, nail. Yes, an almond shaped nail. Mm. So it's similar to the stiletto, but much shorter. It okay. does similarly look like the almond nut. Yes. So it is a beautiful nail as well. But it's and then obviously for the girls that aren't so flashy, mm. it's definitely going more into a ballet shape. Ooh. These nails have always given me the impression that I know what I want in life. Um, I'll well, it also depends them. on colour. Mm. If you have short nails and you have a dark, bold colour, you're showing dominance. You're mm. showing... What are you doing? <laughs> oh, nice! Adding blue. Are you adding some blue? I am trying to add my clouds, but unfortunately we don't have 15 minutes to allow our nail polish to dry. So I hope that all of this works out for the best. It's going well. I, I feel like with, when it also comes to nail art, I don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it as simplistic as possible. And what's quite cool is I know that Voy's antibacterial products they destroy 99.9 percent .9 of tested bacteria, which is so important during this time. I think mm. hygiene is very, very important. Their facial care products are also dermatologically tested, and the range is also pH balanced. Voy products are proudly paraben free. Paraben. Yes, paraben. Paraben. Yes. Paraben. They're family safe. Uh huh. So your babies can also use it. Oh, that is quite cool. So it's a family kind of event as well, where everyone, the children themselves, That's what I was can saying. join. The December holidays are coming up. Get your little girls in line. <laughs> create artists. Yes, create some artists. Also, it's the it's a holiday it's now. Some glitter. Are those little stars? Those yeah, are this little is butterflies. Going to be, I feel like I just need to dip it in here. Now this is actually so pretty. Now with a crazy store in just about any town near you, head over to your favorite store for a world of beauty and make sure to also follow the crazy store on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter to learn all about the exciting new products and fun ways to use them. But now it's competition time, right? Reply to the competition post on Expresso's Facebook or Twitter page and tell us who you would treat to a day of pampering if you won the crazy store Voy Range Hamper. Remember to use the hashtag the crazy store and you could stand a chance to win one of two Voy Range Hampers worth 300 Rand, each filled with everything you need to pamper yourself and someone special at home. What are you waiting for? Get entering now. Okay, let me see yours. Let's see yours. Oh no. <gasps> that is pretty. Oh, I like I that. I did little dots and one butterfly. Oh wow, you guys Mine are Mine is abstract. Me. I'm still like, a, let's see what I'm you're I'm at beginning your... base. Like I'm dropping like <gasps> the lines to start the artwork only. Wow. <laughs> you girls what? have just got like. Boop, 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 no, we need boop, boop. to see that again, please. <laughs> I was, it up for everyone okay, to so see. Okay, so it was going to be a baseline. So it was going to be a flower and that was going to turn into a fairy. Jade, where can people get a hold of you um, on social media? on Instagram, mm -hmm. at Jade's Nails, Facebook, at Jade's Nails, uh, TikTok. I've got you TikTok do? now. <laughs> I finally joined the generation. <laughs> so my TikTok is the indestructible nail artist. Ooh. Love that. Make sure to connect with her on our social media platforms and I'm sure she will show you a range of ways you could use this amazing range from the crazy store. Whoever you are, whatever you need, you'll find great value for the whole family at the Crazy Store. So duck into a store near you and be surprised. Looking stunning, ladies. Are you inspired and encouraged to go try something new with your nails? Something crazy and wild with your nails? I, I might actually do yeah. that, though. I was actually really liking the stiletto nail. Yeah. I think I might actually I think try you that. might actually look really great with the stiletto nail, because I think there's something about your hairstyle That's and then it. that stiletto sort of uh, spilling out and spilling... I think that could be nice. I'm actually going to try that this weekend. Yeah. Uh, guaranteed. It's going to be beautiful. Pictures. Send uh, pictures. <laughs> either way, uh, you know that uh, 2020 uh, has encouraged us all to yeah. rise to the challenge. And as an organization with a mission to uh, propel African 
African designers and their work to global markets, mm. as well as connect consumers with authentic African stories. It's no wonder that African Fashion International is going above and beyond with their upcoming 2020 Fashion Week Joburg Virtual Experience. Yes, it's different, but it's going to be so much fun. The front row is open to everyone this year, which really does make it so special. Uh, it's a virtual experience, which means that everyone and anyone can be a part of it from the 12th to the 14th of November, with main shows going live on the Friday and the Saturday evenings at quarter past seven. That's in the evening. And you can sign up to watch for free. Free of charge. You don't have to pay a thing for it. It's www.afi.events. It's going to be so good, and who knows, stiletto nails could be there as well. Yeah, uh, but you can witness African designers uh, reset, reimagine, and reinvent the best in fashion. Don't miss it. Responsive, <laughs> and I'm ready. He chooses his pies. Because it wow. says here yeah, which one right. will you be grateful for. Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso here in SABC3, and it's sporting action time, Woo! and big clashes all around in Super Rugby Unlocked, starting this evening with the Sharks versus the Cheetahs. Tomorrow, the winners request take on the Stormers, and round five concludes with the Lions up against the Bulls. <laughs> Things are heating up in the Indian <laughs> Premier League, with three teams looking for a place in the final against Mumbai Indians, and in football, all eyes will be on the Etihad when Man City welcome <laughs> Liverpool. Senior sports <laughs> Journalist Ryan Feeder is here to tell us more. To tell the tale. <laughs> Thank you. Oh <laughs> yeah. I, I, sorry, we went from rugby to football there very quickly, but you do that. I mean, you're a sports journalist, right? Right, and, and you did it with great skill. Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> so let's talk about yeah. the IPL now. Let's first talk about some Super Rugby Unlocked here for a second, because we're loving it now. Yeah. And, and the rust is kind of gone now. I'm still appreciating the fact that we aren't playing in the Tri-Nations, because we, we're not there yet. Yeah. Um, but we are still seeing some incredible performances from individuals and teams starting to find their feet. The Cheetahs probably the best team in the country right now. They're 
up against the Sharks. The Sharks finally got their campaign up and running. How do you see that one playing out? Yeah, the, the Cheetahs are, I think, alongside the Bulls, probably um, the two best teams in the competition. But the Cheetahs have played excellent rugby this year. They've benefited from, like, really good recruiting, mm. recruiting some really um, experienced Springboks. Um, and the, the balance of their game is incredible. So Cheetahs are usually associated with quite expansive open rugby. Um, but Flyers, yeah, but, yeah. But they've, they've really earned the right to play that way. Um, they've got a great pack um, who lays the platform for them. Um, and it's going to take a really good team to stop them. They, they're looking incredible. France yeah. Stain. <laughs> man, I love France Stain. I can't tell what you, France, yeah. you're watching right now, bro. I love you, man. Absolutely. <laughs> love Every you. single rugby player, if you want to get psyched up, watch Chasing the Sun. It's going to change your game completely. When I Incredible it's documentary. documentary. It's it's that was cry, absolutely man. beautiful. But uh, Chiquas and uh, Stormers, now if I, if I think about Chiquas winless at the moment, and then I look at the Stormers, and, and their pack looks absolutely incredible. France Malerba is unstoppable. Salman Murat as well. So if I think about this particular game, does a coach go into this one thinking these guys are an option to rotate my squad or is it a matter of just going in and saying let's make a statement well especially after last, uh, right, last I, was, I was just yeah. going to say yeah uh, i think john dobson um goes into this game saying we need to make a statement um the bulls completely outplayed them um and um the weather guards intervened but the bulls completely outplayed yeah. the stormers they need to make a statement um i don't think they care that it's against the greek was um also, historically, the Griquas have been a little bit of a bogey team for Western Province, although not the Stormers, but for Western Province. And, um, and the Stormers need to make a statement this weekend, um, especially after that lame performance last week. Yeah. Uh, lame um, is a good word. Yeah, because yeah. they just couldn't fire, man. They yeah. just couldn't fire. Then we've also got the Yikske Derby, the Lions, up against the Bulls tomorrow at 7. But moving swiftly on, high stakes in the world of international cricket. When it comes to the IPL, we've loved seeing any live sports. But this has been great because the South Africans have been performing. Yeah. Mumbai Indians have booked their spot that's as much as we know what is going on in the IPL because it feels like the winner of that then plays the loser who can play the winner who can still have a chance so where do we stand in the IPL man okay so the Mumbai Indians are to the final um, and um, so they beat the Delhi Capitals who go into qualifier two which happens on Sunday before we get there there's a game that happens between um, the Sunrisers and RCB we've as South Africans have a vested interest in RCB um, because of AB okay he's not he's um, um, he's, uh, he's not, he hasn't continued his, the, the form of uh, early in the tournament. The way he started, yeah. Yeah, but, um, but they've got an X-Factor team, man, and, um, and that's going to be a great game. Sunrisers do too. Um, and so the winner of the Sunrisers versus RCB goes on to play um, daily <laughs> in Sunday's second qualifier. The winner of that game will go on to play the Mumbai Indians um, in the final on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, I, I know no more than when we started, but I know the Mumbai Indians are, are the what, Whatever you said is exactly what you wanted <laughs> okay. to hear. Thank you so much, Ryan. Trust uh, me. <laughs> I'm going to trust Come you. on, Abby. Come and on, son. Moving to football very quickly, I, I know that Manchester United, they have more memes about that team, uh, you know, other than any, any other team this week. It's been one of those with the Champions League result. And I need to take on Everton, who is in need of a little statement themselves. Uh, you know, when they started so Listen, strong. One, one, two, one. With regard to this that. that as, a, as a Liverpool fan, it's unfortunate that I have to come onto national TV and talk about small teams like Manchester United. I'm sorry, sorry should I have asked you about Liverpool? About Liverpool, <laughs> <laughs> just, about <laughs> Liverpool and Man City, yes. But um, no, in fairness, um, United just, they, they just don't have any identity at this point. Yeah. Um, whether that be tactical, they have, they've got no structure, there's a lot happening at United. Um, Everton are, were on an upward curve um, and they, they stumbled a little bit recently. Um, but I, I don't see United beating them um, on Sunday, uh, sorry, on Saturday. And um, I mean, those two teams, those, Everton, I think, won't sustain their challenge in the Premier League. They just don't have enough quality to do that. Um, but I'd be worried if I was a United fan. Really, uh, I would. Is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's job in danger? It should be. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, can, he can get a team up for, for, for big occasions, um, like we saw in the Champions League against PSG. Um, he's beaten Manchester, Manchester City twice. Um, and um, so he's able to get teams up for individual games. Um, but we, we all know that competitions aren't won that way. Um, the, the the best coaches are able to get the best out of their sides consistently. Yeah. Um, and I don't think Ali can do that.
Um, and then, of course, we've got the Man City up against Liverpool, which is going to be, I think, one for the ages, looking at the form of both of those teams. Um, absolutely exquisite stuff. And then we love the fact that Banyana Banyana are back in action as well this weekend. So we wish them all the best of luck getting off to a, a flying start. Um, Desiree Ellis, despite the fact that they've been off for the better part of a year, um, showing, no, showing no signs of rust. So we wish them all the best in their next venture. But, of course, we want to know from you guys at home, are you a super fan? Would you like to sit on this couch, okay? He's an actual journalist, but you can sit next to Ryan um, and you can give us your opinion on whatever footballing team, whatever sporting team you love the most. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know your opinions about this weekend's sporting action on the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. We might invite you onto the show to maybe even talk IPL. Maybe you can explain it better than, than Ryan did. But uh, uh, enjoy the sports. Soak it all up this weekend. Are you a super fan or perhaps you one person who wants to experience something priceless? Mm. And each week, Emuenza are giving away incredible experiences up to the value of 5,000 rands. Uncle that's Tanzi, big. That, that is, really is big. Let's be honest. 5,000 experiences, that's insane. From skydiving, yeah. cooking with a chef, oh, yes. advanced driving, I'll bring it on. or shark cage diving. Ooh, and it's finally people. Friday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which means it's time to reveal this week's lucky mm -hmm. winner. So here's what we've done. Is on Monday we asked you how Emuenza can help support your immune system. And we received hundreds and hundreds of replies. Lots of entries. Really yes. impressive ones as well. Uh, but there can only be one winner. And this <gasps> week's lucky winner is Swele Tembam Duzana who we're going to give a call right now uh, to share the good news with. Zuele Temba, good morning. Not on the line yet, okay? We actually are dialing mm. uh, Zuela Temba as we speak right now. But the whole thing was really about trying to find out if you understand how Immuenza can help support your immune system. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, to stand a chance of winning one of those incredible experiences worth 5,000 rand each. Mm -hmm. We yes. mentioned them already, but he's yes. on the line right now. Uh, Zuela Temba, good morning. Good morning, my guy. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. And you? Fantastic. Are you on the road on your way to work? Yeah, I'm on my way to work with Okay, well, well th th this, is, this is great. But listen to this. So we got your entry that you submitted uh, uh, to our Emuenza competition about one of the experiences that you would like to win, obviously, but also speaking about how Emuenza can help support your immune system. Thank you so much for getting that entry through. Oh, that's great. So am I finally through from one of the finalists? Well, the thing is, there's been so many really impressive yeah. entries, uh, uh, Zula Temba, and the reason that we're calling this morning is to uh, let you know that congratulations, you yeah. are our winner this yeah. week! Yeah. <laughs> that was so thank God! Congratulations, <laughs> Zula Temba and Tuzana! <laughs> how do you feel, Zula Temba? Try to catch your breath, but how do you feel? I can tell how he feels. <laughs> I, I, I'm over the moon. It feels like I'm already skydiving. Like, oh. it, I'm speaking to you now. Uh, it feels so thrilling, and I'm so, so thankful. Oh, 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 man. Oh. Well, guess who's going to be acting like a bozza at the office today? Congratulations. <laughs> so, let's have a, so, which one of these amazing experiences will you be going for? Because you know that you've got quite a number of options. Yes, you got do, sir. Yes. You have shark cage oh, yes. diving. Skydiving, wow. cooking experience with a yes. chef, a spa experienced, mm -hmm. advanced driving course, or a self-defense mm -hmm. course for the family. Yes. Which one will you be going for? I think I'll rather go with the spa experience. Oh, of yes. course. Um, yes. 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 I need to leave a few, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. It's so self-care. Well, yes. congratulations, Zuele yes. Tembam Dizana. I know that you're going to enjoy the spa. In fact, Kushi and I were just talking now about mm. how we need the tension on our necks and shoulders My taken God, care of. Yes. So if you're needing to have a date or two uh, to take along with to the spa, just give us a call, all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> congratulations. Now, do tune in on Monday because we are announcing a new Emmy Wenza competition question, and you could be the next winner with mm -hmm. Emmy Wenza. Five awesome experiences up to the value of 5,000 Rand must be won with Immuenza on Expresso this November. Help boost your immune system with Immuenza and stand a chance to win a weekly giveaway of skydiving or cooking with a chef, advanced driving or shark cage diving. Answer the question on the Immuenza competition post on Expresso's Facebook or Twitter page using the hashtag Immuenza. That competition runs up until midnight December 1st. Terms and conditions can be found on expressoshow.com.
Join us this Sunday at 12 midday as multi-platinum musician Zahara takes us on a journey back to her roots in the Eastern Cape. See how two entrepreneurs from Kayalicha are bringing cycling to the people. And escape on a romantic getaway to Umschlanga with celebrity couple JR and Tepi Wundler. That's the Insider Essay, this Sunday at 12 midday, only on SABC3. It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome back. You are live with Expressos. Thank you so much for keeping it locked. Now, I think this year has proven one thing. Never before have we all relied so much on technology. And today we're going to experience some of the power in Samsung's innovative product solutions, perfect for our new normal. And it definitely is a new normal from the Galaxy Watch 3 to Galaxy Buds Live, the incredible Samsung Fold, which is still blowing my mind, um, the S20 FE, which I had the pleasure of introducing to you guys a couple of weeks ago an amazing piece of new technology. Samsung really is an aspirational and inspirational brand at the moment and being able to connect them all together creating one amazing ecosystem makes life so much easier. Now joining us in studio this morning the whole family is here we've got a very warm welcome to the president and CEO of Samsung Africa Mr. Sung Yoon, director of integrated mobility Justin Hume and our favorite tech guru Mr. Grant. <laughs> Hi, gentlemen, Woo! welcome to it. Uh, Sung, I've got to say thank you so much for being such a gracious host at the Innovation Hub. I loved seeing the full ecosystem. Let's throw a TV in there. Let's throw a fridge in there, an air conditioner. It's mind-blowing to me. But getting back to the here and now, this year, everything has changed. Mm -hmm. And consumers, we have been changed by what's been going on. How has Samsung responded and adapted to this new normal? Wow. Yeah, first of all, yeah, it was uh, Samsung Experience Hub. And uh, back to uh, the, the Expresso Studio, it's, it's excitement. Love uh, having you yes, here, Yes, since uh, March, it's almost uh, eight months. Wow. So we are so excited today. And the answering to your question is how we see 2020. According to the research about the consumers, it's a very interesting findings, as we can imagine, uh, 2020. First is, uh, you know, people uh, are minimizing their contact, right? And second is uh, uh, people uh, are more staying home and working from home. And number three is uh, people rely on their technology more than ever. So, for example, uh, the, the over a year ago, we introduced the, the Samsung Pay, right? Some, some Samsung Pay is easy. Using the, either Samsung phone or watch, you can tap and pay. And that. Easy. It's very easy how to use those things because consumers wanted at that time was a more simple, easy way to pay. Convenient. Now, as I said, the first finding is uh, people want to minimize the contact. This is perfect solution. So uh, how easy the Samsung Pay help our new normal? Let's see a, a video which we uh, took a, a short uh, conversation. Justin and I met uh, uh, the maps. So can you believe it's already in November? We talked about our plan about the 2021. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> little did we know, little did we know that we can see on screen now just how easy it is to use yeah. uh, the watch or the phone. Mm -hmm. So the waiter was uh, surprised because he <laughs> watched it uh, so a couple of times with using phone, but he saw first time uh, using my uh, Galaxy watch. So with uh, this uh, easy way and the contact list, in South Africa, South African uh, uh, people using over 3 million times over Samsung Pay since launch. Wow. Um, 3 million, that is absolutely massive. Now, I know Maps was going through the no wallet challenge. Yeah. Okay, was he able to, to fulfill that? Was he able to do and get through life without his wallet? Yes, he did. <laughs> he did uh, the wallet challenge and uh, he's enjoying uh, no wallet, uh, the you know, experience uh, uh, very much. So he knows m more people are using Samsung Pay, uh, like a three million times means almost over uh, uh, 84% yeah. of all South Africa mobile payment is a Samsung Pay. 
which we really like it. I, I'm probably one of those, like a good percentage of that. I use Samsung Pay like all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I use Samsung Pay on my Watch 3 and on my, on my Buds, because what I do is I go running uh, in the mornings, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes I forget to take water, or you don't want to take your phone with you, so I download like Spotify to my phone, and then I literally will use Samsung Pay on my watch. It, it, it really is like magic. Like people at like sales attendants go like, what are you doing? Like you can't, you can't pay like that. You call the manager and you're like, oh, it's simple. Sweet, get, mm -hmm. the, get the receipt and I walk out with my water and I don't have to carry anything on me. It's I'm amazing. just thinking with his skinny jeans. He doesn't like to have a uh, wallet uh, bulging uh, in his <laughs> skinny jeans. So it's just, it's easy to pay that way. And I think a little bit later, we're going to be asking people to join the No Wallet Challenge. And we've got a, an amazing surprise gift as well. Can you give us a little hint as to what that's going to be? Yeah, well, since, as, as we said, more people are staying home, if you call that home, uh, uh, Entertainment, home and entertainment and uh, staycation, stay and vacation. So we are thinking more of a Samsung connected uh, home solution. So it can be TVs, fridges, and the uh, smartphone. What, what do you think are the most appropriate for the uh, participant? I know a lot of people are like, please give me a TV, <laughs> give me a phone, give me a watch. I absolutely okay. love that. Definitely, we will think about that. There is one more thing, interesting thing. Uh, we, uh, Justin and I took a uh, uh, how train on the way to the airport to uh, come to the Cape Town. And uh, we worked with uh, how train. And, uh, you know, the, in other countries, they use a tap and go. Like how train. Uh, the only thing uh, Justin I did is use my watch or phone using Samsung Pay. Tap at the entrance gate. We don't have to go through the, the ticket center or paying cash, worrying about uh, you know, ticketing at all. Tap and, and go. And cheers. So I, had, uh, I had a very similar experience because I've lived overseas and I've tra I travel a lot for, for work. We're in CES. Uh, I was at CES at the beginning of this year. I traveled overseas in 2020. Wild. Um, but you know, you use your, your, your Watch 3 mm -hmm. or your Galaxy Active and you just tap on, if you're in London, just on the entrances to the, to the tube station or the subway in New York and you're in. And that's like first world technology in South Africa. And it just goes to show how, how integrated Samsung's ecosystem is in with our technology. You talk about contact lists, but I'm feeling a connectedness that's not just about being in, in within our own kind of ecosystem, but the internet of things, the broader system. Maybe you can expand a little bit on that, on, on moving from contact lists to connectedness because I'm feeling now that we can be more connected than ever before. 100%. I mean, think about it this way, is that, uh, you know, I chat to a lot of my friends, uh, our business partners, colleagues and the like, and, you know, most of them haven't seen the inside of an office uh, since March this year, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, yeah, as Sung said, I mean, this is our first uh, trip back to the studio here with you guys. And... Um, you know, so, so with that in mind, our home has become our office place. It's become the uh, the, the the living space, the, the classroom for our kids. Effectively. For sure, yeah. And uh, you know, we spoke about it previously, but the demand for uh, video conferencing uh, oh, yeah. has grown ext extraordinarily. And um, you know, the one stat I saw was over five hundred percent growth in April alone of this year. <laughs> we then got the the kids, you know, needing <laughs> online education taking place in there. So you know, as you raised, uh, saying, I mean. Our customer is saying to us, you know, our technology has become so pivotal in our lives at this point in time. Help us. You know, tell us how we can utilize this. And, um, and uh, I actually like the comment, Grant, you made uh, as we were sitting down here of going, it's amazing how much you know, people buy these products and they don't realize the power. They don't that unlock it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's part of our job to bring those solutions to, to market. And I think, you know, the device that, uh, that Sung's holding, uh, Grant, that you've got there, our Galaxy Z Fold 2, is probably the perfect example of a solution for this new normal environment. I mean, this was the phone folding out to a tablet. It was the product that theoretically couldn't, couldn't be, be done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what I love about this is, I mean, it's beautiful, um, but it, it should have been impossible. What mm -hmm. you've done with this shouldn't have actually been allowed to happen. So is it, is it true that you guys have mm. 100% market share when it comes to foldables. Yeah, foldable, uh, phone we uh, introduced last year. And since then, we are keeping almost 100% market share because no one else can make this type of innovative <laughs> product so far. And uh, I think that's uh, the other way. We want to 
listen, always listen what consumers need in this new normal and come up with uh, some innovative solutions for, their, for them to overcome this uh, uh, the new normal situation. It almost feels like you guys future-proofed without even knowing what was coming this year. A hundred percent. You know, the great thing about this product is that uh, we're able to, I mean, just thinking about the video conferencing aspect of it, right? So I can take the phone, I can open it up into that 7.6 inch tablet-like experience uh, and we, we can operator so you know son calls me we're doing a, a, a conference call i'm able to pop up my excel files or my you know powerpoint presentation uh, which is inherently been great on, on these type of devices, but how much better in, in that space. And then as Grant's uh, showing there now, we, we've got adaptive flex mode. So I can set that screen to how? any how angle that I'm looking like for. <laughs> so I mean, I've got a full display. I'm looking at a video, but I want to take some notes. So I just bend it to 90 degrees and the bottom can become my keyboard effectively. But probably the, the best aspect and the one I love the most is the multitasking functionality. So, like a, a PC environment, I'm able to, uh, well, firstly, I can operate through our link with Windows uh, between handset and tablet, handset and PC, effectively, seamlessly. But on the device, I can open three windows, as an example. And um, in fact, I'm going to ask Grant to, to show it if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, so I've got it currently on screen now with three windows. I've got Mike in the, in the, uh, on the other side of the studio. <laughs> there's big Mike out there. There's big Mike. What's happening? He's showing me a presentation. He works at Samsung, so he's showing me a presentation. I've got Excel open on the left-hand side of the screen. Literally, literally. We're having a chat here on Skype on the top right-hand side. And then, little does he know, I can, <laughs> I can play games. I mean, I have to. You know, it's part of my job. I have to play games at the I'm same sorry, time. I'm Mike. I'm calling it out, man. I'm calling it out. Guys, you realize that, that this is, right now, it's doing more than my, my laptop can do. It's got, it's got 12 gigs of RAM. So because of all of that RAM that they've packed into this form factor, it's got the power that a lot of phones can only dream of. You know, there's so much technology in here, like Justin was saying, glass that folds, glass that folds. Like, I mean, there's stuff that you didn't expect. This hinge is such an incredible piece of technology with brushes in it that keep it clean. It has to be able to fold like millions of times and in order for you to have a device like this. And then with this extra form factor and all this extra space, being able to cram better processors, better RAM, better graphics cards, allows me to do all these things that you would traditionally be able to do only on a desktop. On a, it's, it really is absolutely phenomenal and it looks gorgeous as well. So I'm going to spend the rest of today convincing Mr. Yun to, to give away a couple of TVs on the show. That's what the, that's what the <laughs> Um, no, we've already got some amazing prizes to give away. Remember, Samsung have given us four Galaxy S20 FEs, fan edition smartphones designed by you, the fan, to give away to you today. To stand a chance of winning, you've got to head over to the competition post on the Expresso Facebook or Twitter page. Then you've got to tell us which is your favorite Galaxy S20 FE feature. It's going to be tough because there are some amazing features jammed into that incredible device. And you've got to tag Samsung Mobile. Mobile SA on Twitter or Samsung South Africa on Facebook and use hashtag Galaxy S20 FE and it could be yours. And that competition is going to close on Sunday, the 8th of November. You've got a very little time to get on it, so do it. You've got the weekend to explore those features. And at midnight, uh, we'll be making our decision. So tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone that you possibly can to enter. And for all the terms and conditions, you can visit expressoshow.com.
celebrating their 80th birthday and as part of the festivities, they're giving you a chance to win your share of 1 million rands in prizes. Oh yes, that's correct. Grocery hampers and vouchers are up mm. for grabs daily, while stylish luxury Le Creuset pot sets can be yours weekly. And the grand prize? A stunning kitchen makeover. Ooh. And to enter is really simple. Buy any two cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash and follow the prompts. And remember, keep your tail slip as proof to qualify for your awesome prize. Competition ends 13 November 2020. T's and C's do apply. Coup is the best you can do. It's my feel good breakfast show. Get your 100% goodness with Crush. Scratch and stand the chance to win hundreds of goodness prizes for 100 days with hashtag Crush100. Made with love, fight over. Welcome back to it, your feel-good breakfast show. It is Express, so live right here on SABC3. Yes, you are just in time to get your 100% dose of feel-good this morning. And it's time right now to announce our daily crush 100% goodness winner who's walking away with a handy Tefal stew port. Drum roll, please. Can we hear the drum roll? Yes, it's coming through. And congratulations to... Lindelwa Bolilike! Let's get your picture on our leaderboard. How stunning, Lindelwa. Congratulations. That's beautiful. That's our daily 100% crush winner who walks away with that Tefal stew port. It's going to be so much of goodness and such amazing moments and memories being created in your kitchen at home. And there goes your picture onto our leaderboard. Thank you very much for that, uh, Lindelwa Bolilike. Congratulations. And now we are bringing it back to the kitchen. Today we're making uh, something really amazing. We're potting around in the kitchen where Nicole is showing us how to make an easy breakfast made up of a perfectly boiled egg on toast in our tefal pot of course with a glass of crush 100 percent goodness yes. can you tell us that i am about boiled eggs i mean <laughs> the thing is boiled eggs is a very understated thing it, i yeah. must say that's something i always say you see you know this very well is that even though i've spent over 10,000 hours with you in the kitchen. And uh, after 10,000 hours, surely yeah. I should be like a pro, right? You at, should, at, at by cooking. now. I'd hope so. Hey, but I'm not quite there yet, <laughs> my smart girl, Nicole. Uh, but boiled eggs really are about the only thing I'm really great at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Think, and how do you have I your, think, boi how do you have your egg? Uh, I like to boil them and get them to medium. Medium. To medium. Uh, yeah. I think okay. Medium. Medium so the, always works. Well, how do you like So these? the trick is, I like mine medium. Stunning. So the trick is always to use room temperature eggs because when you put a cold egg into mm. the warm water mm. it just cracks immediately How many people know that not many people yeah it's because of the temperature shock wow yeah so what we do is we what we tend to do is open the fridge grab the eggs out the fridge and straight to the pot yeah wow. and your pot is boiling boiling water and mm. then it will crack your and you've got egg all in your water and that's okay. what, what you want so to get your perfect egg yeah. we've got a medium soft hard and a really really hard one so okay. i'm going to cut them open and you're going to tell me medium, what's what hard and very very hard okay so okay. just by looking at it i must just tell you that's that's definitely soft nicole no that egg is literally ready to if you think that's hatch. soft then what do you think this is <gasps> oh i that's so soft. That's oh. medium. Then you've got a soft. So soft, okay, you're doing soft. two to three minutes. Okay. Medium, three to four minutes. Okay. And then we've got our hard ones here as well. Okay, cool. All right, and let's see if I can tell. Beautifully that, hard egg over there. That looks like it's just hard. Not super hard. Not 100% hard. Not 100% <laughs> hard. But this... Is the, this is how I usually <laughs> have my eggs. Is this actually right. like acceptable? Is this decent? No. Well, in our culinary world, <gasps> blue eggs is a no-go. <gasps> you want to go for your hard egg. You can see it's beautifully cooked. Oh, wow. You don't want to do more than that. Okay, I mean, how long would you have done this for, boiled this for? This was five to six minutes. And this? This was just when you walk away from the pot and yeah, you completely forget about it. Yeah, this is what I do, it. is I, I put the pot in the, in the thing to boil in the pot and then uh, the eggs in the pot to boil. And then I go watch Isidingo at the start of Isidingo. At the end of Isidingo, when I come back, that's when I take it out. <laughs> so clearly that's how I've been getting it wrong all my life. All wow, wrong. So if you want really to go for a medium egg where you thought this was soft. Yeah. You're going to do four to five minutes. Wow. Okay, well, that is 100% insight, 100% uh, schooling, and 100% goodness and education coming through from Nicole Snelling on how to get the perfect boiled egg. Uh, just before I let you go, Nicole, is, is the trick to boil the water first before you throw in the egg, or can yes. you just put normal tap water in with the egg at the same time and let it go through all the, the stages? The thing is, then your timing is going to be different. Okay. Because then you're going to have to still wait for the water to come up to a boiling point. Yeah. So then you are going to be 
a lot longer boiling mm. your eggs. You don't want that. Lots of eggy tips. Yes. I see, Nicole, my excellent. smart girl. You are excellent. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That is one hundred percent. Listen, if you want all of these tips and a whole lot more, go onto our website. It's expressoshow.com. Are you ready to stand a chance to win 100% goodness prizes with Crush, such as Nutri Bullets, Veggie Bullets, Tefal Kitchen Appliances, Bar Fridges, Skincare Products, Fitness Products, and Vouchers? 100% you are. 100% goodness winners will be announced daily on Expresso from Monday to Friday from September through December. To enter, buy Crush promo packs. See the back of the label to scratch. And if you find a unique code, dial the USSD number on the pack to stand a chance to win immediate prizes or go into the grand prize draw. If you do not find a unique code, keep buying Crush to find the hidden codes. Crush is 100% fruity, fresh, tasty and refreshing. Made with love by Clover. It is now 7 o'clock on the nose. Time to get back into our national news headlines. Starting here in the country, first South Africa will host its third investment conference on the 17th and 18th of November. That is the country focuses on reconstruction in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Minister in the Presidency Jackson Mtembu yesterday said this year's South African investment conference would focus on the delivery of existing commitments to realise job creation and economic development. He added that the conference aims to build on the successes of of the last two conferences, which raised some 664 billion rand, laying the foundation for investment and accelerated economic growth. Staying in the country, the Basic Education Department has said that it wasn't too concerned about the matric pass rate in what has been an extremely difficult academic year. Minister Angie Mochecha was in Soweto yesterday morning to monitor the start of the matric final exams. A record number of more than a million candidates are due to sit for the combined July and December exam this month. It was also revealed that candidates who test positive and are deemed fit will be allowed to write but at a different venue and under secure conditions. Now, casting a wider net on the international front, if you were going to have a creature named after you, you probably wouldn't opt for a scorpion, wouldn't be your first choice. However, Ahmed Ibrahim Awale believes the Pandinurus Awalai will serve as an inspiration to budding Somali scientists. The 66-year-old Somaliland scientist has been honoured by the three researchers who discovered the new scorpion species in the region in recognition of his decades of work in conservation and environmental protection. Protection. It's a while it's wished to add to the growing number of Somalis taking up zoology and botany. And moving to Europe, Denmark is culling up to 17 million mink after detecting a mutated strain of COVID-19 in the animals. The strain, which started in mink farms, has infected at least 12 people, the government has now announced, adding that mink farms could be linked to some 400 COVID-19 cases thus far. Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen said at a news conference that the mutated strain could mean the effect of a future vaccine would be weakened or in the worst case scenario be undermined entirely. And now a snippet of somewhat surprising news from the world of fashion. If one thinks of Britain's most fashionable men, names like uh, David Beckham, Lewis Hamilton, Daniel Craig or even Alex Turner probably come to mind. But Prince Charles, all well, his daughters-in-law, Kate and Meghan, are regularly lauded for their fashion sense. But 71-year-old Prince Charles, well known for patching up and mending his own clothes, has probably been considered a less likely British style icon. That's until now. The praise comes from none other than Edward Enenful, editor-in-chief of British Vogue. Now, Enenful told the Prince in an interview for the magazine's latest edition that he's always admired the way he dresses. And he praises his timeless dress sense, seem to take the heir to the British throne, who usually favours double-breasted suits accompanied with a tie and matching handkerchief by surprise. I thought I was like a stopped clock, he said with a chuckle. Charles, who has long campaigned on environmental issues, was interviewed for Vogue about his commitment to sustain fashion, something he said he had always taken to heart. That's where we leave our news headlines. Let's see what's happening on the sporting roster.
Let's kick it off with football. Banyana Banyana will take on Eswatini in their second 2020 Kasafa Women's Championship match. That's at the Wilson Stadium later today. South Africa started their title defence with that 2-0 win over Angola in their opening encounter earlier in the week. Banyana head coach Desiree Ellis says her players need to maintain their good start and show the same hunger they showed in their opener. The match between South Africa and Eswatini will kick off at 3.30 this afternoon. Then in the latest from the UEFA Europa League, it was a special night for Tottenham. Hotspur recorded a 3-1 win over Bulgarian football club Ludogorets Rusgarat. It was also a big night for Spurs striker Harry Kane, who marked his 300th appearance for the club with his 200th goal. That, of course, in Bulgaria. Now, the results from the Europa League. Leicester City, they thrashed Sporting Braga 4-0 and Arsenal beat Molde 4-1. Then match day eight in the English Premier League. We'll see last season's top two teams go head-to-head -head in the biggest fixture of the weekend. Manchester City will host reigning champions Liverpool at the Etihad. That's uh, Sunday at 6.30 South African time. Other major fixtures to look out for under massive pressure at the moment. Man United go up against the inform Everton. Chelsea take on Sheffield United. West Brom, they face Spurs and Leicester City welcome Wolves. That while Arsenal will be hosting Aston Villa, the surprise outfit this year and that's in the final fixture of the weekend then back to rugby super rugby unlocked enters round five starting this evening when the sharks well, uh, sharks welcome the cheetahs that's at king's park at 7 p.m the first match tomorrow then uh, the Hrikwas, who remain winless in the tournament thus far despite showing promise they'll be up against the stormers looking to bounce back after last weekend that one's at 4 30 and the final super rugby fixture of the weekend will see the lions up against log leaders the bulls that one's at 7 p.m in johannesburg then high stakes in the IPL defending Indian Premier League champions, the Mumbai Indians. They have now booked their spot in the tournament final. It was after beating the Delhi Capitals by 57 runs at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium last night. So the Capitals are not out of the tournament just yet, though. They'll face the winner of the match between the Sunrisers Hyderabad and the Royal Challengers Bangalore, who meet later today. And that's in the second qualifier on Sunday. And the winner of the second qualifier will then move through to take on the Mumbai Indians in that final on Tuesday. Let's wrap of your sport for now let's get another look at our morning weather and hopefully some of your beautiful sunrise pictures thanks a lot graham i love sunrise pictures and here is another look at them in fact the first one comes from tokozo theo makatiri captured this stunning sunrise picture and this is in Johannesburg. Uh, Tokozo, you get into your Friday with a low of 15 degrees and will reach a high of 27 degrees a little later. The next one comes from JP Malerba is representing the Western Cape with this one uh, captured in Robertson, a beautiful area. Your temperatures today range from a minimum of 13 degrees to a maximum of 21 degrees. Thank you so much for your sunrise pictures. Please continue to share them on our social media platforms and we will show them live on Expresso. Moving along with the prospect of a hot and dry summer facing the Western Cape once again, the province's Department of Environmental Affairs yesterday said the wildfire risk this season was going to be higher than in previous years. This is because the department was unable to complete all the fire breaks and regular preparation work in risky areas due to the COVID-19 lockdown. However, despite this, the department says firefighters are ready and prepared to respond. They also have more resources available, including some 30 aircraft and live satellite monitoring of the weather that picks up any fire larger than 15 square meters. For the coming weekend, however, the Western Cape will experience cool weather and rain lasting until Sunday. Taking a look at some of the temperatures across the country, starting with you, Polokwane, 18 is your low to a high of 30 to 2% 2 chance of rain, so it looks like a beautiful day. Bombela, 37 degrees. Sunscreen, please, and hydrate. Asablif, uh, 20 is going to be your minimum in that particular area. And then, of course, you've got Johannesburg. You are a low of 15 to a high of 27. And then Mai King, I go to you now. 32 is your high in the area. 15 is the low this morning. Klagstorp, a lovely 31. So get out and enjoy some sun today. 12, the minimum. Uh, Kimberley, you are shining bright like a diamond later. 29 is your high. And that's from a low of 14. Bloemfontein.
13, 12 to 27. Richards Bay, 22 is your minimum to a high of 35 degrees. Once again, please cover up and hydrate. Uh, Peter Maritzburg, 31 is the high from a low of 17. Durban, 21 to 29 for you. Umtata, a 60% chance of rain for you, but still 30 degrees is your high a little later. Uh, East London, your prospects are 15 to 23 with 40% chance of rain. Craddock, 11 to 30. PE, your 21, your high. In fact, that's a little later, 15 this morning. A 67% chance of rain for George. Uh, you are 21 later, 13 this morning. Uh, Cape Town, 14 to 16, 81% chance of rain. So it's a definitely uh, a movie weekend for you. Worcester. 18 from a low of 12 this morning. Sutherland, 8 is your low to a high of 15. And then Uppington on the up and up from 15 to 29 degrees a little bit later. That's a look at all of your temperatures, right, and Expressa. And do remember, sunrise pictures make us happy. Please continue to post those on our social media platforms. Well, thank you so much for that, Carl West. Yes, no matter what the weather's looking like in your part of the country, be sure to make it a feel-good type of day. Yes, Even please. more reason to feel good because Nedbank mm. came up with this fantastic campaign, which we all connected with in mm. such a beautiful, beautiful way. It's the Nedbank Here's to You Mzansi campaign, uh, where South Africans could stand a chance to win a whopping 5,000 rand cash prize. Beep, 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 beep. All they had to do <laughs> was simply uh, share their story of surviving lockdown. And mm -hmm. we know there are many incredible stories of how people have survived lockdown down throughout the country uh, using that hashtag here's to you Mzansi and we've been overwhelmed I must be honest I mean sure it's been a lot it's been so overwhelming the incredible entries that we have received but one uh, of those entries that did come uh, through and stood out for us uh, and, and we can't wait to uh, get to chat to this guy is uh, uh, um, this guy his name is uh, Tsiriso Motsohai who yes. said this is what he said this is exactly what he yeah. said he says I became very involved in the community during lockdown with Hannah's place of safety NGO, which is a safe house for infants who have been extremely neglected, abandoned, or abused. I spent my days feeding, putting to sleep, and playing or watching cartoons with the babies and help when they are restless. Mm. We even launched a book in honor of one of the babies named Lulu at the safe house, which shares a beautiful story of a day in her life. That, for me, was just so hot. That was beautiful. So congratulations, Tidiso. You are actually our winner, Tidiso Motsuwa. Hi, congratulations. Good morning. We've got him, got, got him on the line, Yes, right? we do. Tidiso, are you there? Yes, I'm certainly here. Good morning. How are you? Ah, oh, so oh, fantastic. fantastic. Fantastic entry <laughs> as well there. Congratulations. We're so happy to announce you as the winner this morning. Well, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Come on! Yes. Okay. <laughs> Look, uh, Tini, so tell us. But think about it. <laughs> We're all wearing a touch of pink. Honey, so Graham, even Carl, he's the CEO of Samsung. Come on! Oh <laughs> man, this is so so cool. Uh, but I'm why? I'm so excited. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> That's what we love because you've put in the work, you've put in your heart into it, and yeah. this is one of the things that are being given to you for your wonderful yeah. heart. So congratulations. Why does this mean so much to you to give back to those in need? Mm. Oh my goodness. For me, it started actually when last year when I did my Mandela Day activity that happens every single year annually, but due to COVID-19, I couldn't do it. Mm. I'm a fan of Express, but when I saw Express was doing the Cadbury Little Shop of Generosity where you hand in a book or a toy and mm. you get a chocolate in exchange. I went to my local library and I simply asked them, listen, do you have old books? Because that's what I want, old mm. books that you guys are not using for kids. Mm. And I managed to collect a number of 200 books in total. Wow. And I went to the little generosity shop that was in Canal Walk and decided, here are the books. And I managed to get 200 chocolates. And it means a lot to me because... All I want is just for these kids to be kids, be able to have an opportunity to play, sing, dance, laugh, everything. I ended up in hospital as a young child simply by being knocked over by a car because I was running on that ice cream truck. Mm. So me in a hospital just because of a sweet treat, whereas these kids in hospital fighting things such as cancer and other mm. things, which are much more serious, I decided, okay, let's donate a sweet treat to these kids and tell them, listen, everything's going to be okay. Mm. Read a book for these kids and... When I couldn't do those kind of activities this year, I decided, listen, there is Hannah's Place of Safety. It's something big in the community. It's something I'm aware of. Mm. I'm going to go there. I'm going to give my time.
diapers, they have to oh. fill infants, feed books, watch cartoons, change mm. their diapers, be someone who's just making sure that when they're restless, be there for them and just give time. And launching the book of Lulu even during lockdown was one of the most amazing things. And that, to be part of that, I thank my neighbor, Tracy Brown, Rodney Brown, Dion Fabe, um, Janine Fabe, all of them who run this big program, run Handers Place of Safety. It really meant a lot for me to just be a part of these kids' lives and give them a chance to just have a normal life as children, to, to say at the least. So that's why it just meant so much to me. Just let kids be kids. Congratulations. Mm. So, uh, so, so, so you're, a, you're a good man with such a big heart, mm. uh, Tidi Somotuahai, and Thank really... You. Uh, I hope that this 5,000 rand will go a long way in helping mm. you seemingly go on to continue to spread the feel good and the love that you do in the community that you work in. All of the best with the work that you do with Hannah's place of safety. It's fantastic. Uh, enjoy your prize, man. He can't believe it. I, I still can't. No, because a, a big portion of it is going to be donated to Hannah's place mm. of safety because yeah. there's a lot that gets done there. So mm. that's where it's going to be going. I'm, I'm going to be doing quite a lot over there. And certainly as we head to the festive season, you know, just a little bit of Christmas spirit going yeah. to yes. them. So yeah. I'm so thankful for you yeah. guys to opening that opportunity and the competition. Thank you. Congratulations. So Congratulations again. I love this guy. And massive thank you to every single one of you out there who have entered. Your stories really have been so incredible. They've been so incredibly inspiring. And we love hearing all of those stories. It's clear to see that uh, Mzansi is always ready mm. to overcome any obstacle in our path. We do this every day. We are a, a, a resilient, strong country. But tune in to uh, uh, Expresso on Monday for another chance to win big with NetBanks. Here's to you, Mzansi Competition. So I'm chatting to Umalume Mosa here. He's owned a small clothing factory for years now, and he's always inspired me with his success. But like a lot of businesses, this lockdown's hit him hard. So he spoke to his banker, and they've put together a tailor-made relief solution for him to help his business and his people get through this. Making your bank your business partner? That's a habit worth keeping.
shown some of the world's rarest local coffee crafts and refined them to create five distinct new tastes. After all, we are the choices we make. We are the choices we make indeed, and I choose to have coffee. It's a Friday, which means <laughs> that we are just in time to whip up a delicious coffee drink for the weekend. It's based on one of our favorite South African treats, undoubtedly, milk tart. And the best part is that not only um, do we need a Nespresso uh, uh, cozy capsule, which is one of my favorite flavor profiles, milk, condensed milk, and some cinnamon powder. Very, very easy. And joining me in the kitchen, uh, Mr. Yoon is going to be introduced to another South African delicacy, yes. Yes. Um, because every time we've made you eat to Gatsby, okay, on live TV. Mm -hmm. um, so now milk tart is one of South Africa's favorite, favorite things. Grant can tell you that we, we love our milk tart. So now we're gonna turn a milk tart into a coffee. Are you gonna, you're gonna give me a hand? Is that even possible? It is possible, it is possible. Okay, so this is how we're gonna start here. Before I go to the Nespresso machine and use the Cozy, which is a, a strength four, so it's a beautifully balanced flavored coffee, medium roast, fruity, uh, fruity flavor notes, lovely. But what we're gonna do is, this is condensed milk. So what I need you to do is just put a bit of condensed milk around the inside right. of the glass so it runs down okay, okay. wait i gotta pull, pull this off there we go just like this just for decoration what is this uh, for, oh, for, for flavor, flavor decoration for flavor. Your first time it's my first time <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, can i do can i make one for you uh, yeah oh, sure you Absolutely. better man you. Yeah. Uh, have you never made um, mr yin coffee before this is the first time this is the first time mm. it's an honor it's an honor <laughs> and a privilege <laughs> i love that okay so we've got some delicious um condensed milk now we're going to move across to our little workstation here um, so I'm using, as I said, the cozy capsule. Um, it's a beautiful balanced flavor profile. So for this one, we're gonna do a cappuccino. This, I actually know this, this blend and it's great for breakfast. Mm, it's a really like nice that. breakfast blend. You know, you do want something that's not too overwhelming, but also a little bit like a kickstart, a little bit fresher for the rest of the day. So for those of you who don't know, the intensity level, so this is a four, it doesn't necessarily mean that the caffeine content, because I'm, when I start my day, I'm like, I need a level 12 <laughs> just to, yeah, to, yeah. to kickstart my, my day. But this, it's more the flavor intensity, like you say. So How long has been roasted for? Yeah, and, it's, and the different flavor notes and profiles. And this has got a beautiful fruity, fruity after taste which I think you will absolutely love. Do you like milk tart? Yeah, yeah, well, actually, we'll find out. First time. <laughs> Just like catch me last time. There we I think, go. Uh, mm -hmm. I think after the show, you need to go get a milk tart at a, yeah. at a well, we'll, we will make sure the next time you come, we have a milk tart. Oof, there we go. Okay, now what I'm going to need you to do is add the finishing touches. Okay, so we've okay. got a beautiful Nespresso. <laughs> Um, stencil. I, I, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Look, no this pressure, is, dude. I'm you a, get that well, right. This is, I actually didn't know that this was a stencil. Like, imagine, like, oh. you know, having a date round and you just do this, and they'll be like, excuse me, like, who did I match with? So what I, okay. what I have to... <laughs> <laughs> that's, right, that's right, that's right, that's right. So that, I'm guessing that one's going to be mine, hey? That'll be mine. No, no, I, I will take it, I will take it. Everyone needs a uh, practice run. Um, mm -hmm. um, what I, I love about the journey that we've walked with Nespresso so far is how important sustainability is for them. It's a massive, massive pillar of their business model and they are doing a lot from completely recycling all of the capsules um, and the grinds and everything involved to planting trees all on its way to achieve carbon neutral manufacturing an unbelievably um, important message that they are sending at the moment oh and he's and he's taking one for the team what do you think <laughs> well, I put too much cinnamon in there looking great right <laughs> but Casey is a great shall we give him yes. we'll give him another try mm. okay wait wait wait, we'll wait, give wait him another let's try, try let's give him another little, try yes. okay so, uh, so uh, do you have any tips was, for me uh, look I tell you what I'm going to do this yeah, you do this can I, I do what I want you to do is while I'm doing this I, I'm a massive fan of the single take, so I okay. want you to take as many photos as you can of me doing this like it okay, should be done. Can you do it? I please? can do it. I'm going to make this 15 seconds. Let's compare yours and, uh, <laughs> and Grant. Grant. Wow. <laughs> Single take. That's look there. at that. That's the way. That's the way <laughs> to do it. Yes. That. <laughs> so talk us through what the single take does. Mm -hmm. uh, look, it's not that much better than yours. <laughs> look at this. So 
<laughs> the single take is an incredible feature on uh, Samsung Galaxy devices that uh, I'm going to show you now when, uh, when this loads up. But what it's doing is it has a chipset on the actual on the device that uses artificial intelligence. We've just taken a quick 15 second video and it will then uh, create, this is what they consider to be the best picture, but little GIFs, shareable moments, things that you can do. I like to call it like a digital photographer's assistant for social media. So you can have these, look, look at this, you can share this to social media really quickly, really mm -hmm. easily. They'll even grade it for you, so you don't have to be a professional photography grader. But what I love about, I love getting into nature with my boy, and we'll go and I'll literally, he'll just run off and I'll just shoot for a, for a moment, and then suddenly I've got this file of beautiful photos, sometimes a mountain will appear in the background that I didn't even notice, but the AI picks it up and takes the, oh, yeah. the panoramic yeah. view. It's absolutely mind-blowing in that sense, so I love that. Um, I'm, I need a taste here as well. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Yun? Yes. Welcome Cheers. to another Thank South you. African favorite. Love this. Remember, Samsung have given us four Galaxy S20 FE fan edition smartphones to give away to you right now, but we are currently trending at number one on Twitter because we are giving these phones away, so you better get on it <laughs> if you want to stand a chance of winning. Head to the competition post on our Expresso Facebook or Twitter pages. Tell us which is your favorite Galaxy S20 FE feature. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this one. Tag at Samsung Mobile SA on Twitter or at Samsung South Africa on Facebook and use hashtag Galaxy S20 FE and it could be yours. That competition is closing though on Sunday um, at midnight. So get on it. For all the terms and conditions, you can visit expressoshow.com. I'm going to taste the, the flavor profile of the cozy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells Where's mine, guys? No, buddy, you, you I lost the right off you of that. I don't think you want to taste it. <laughs> 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 oh, you can make my day. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Expresso coming to you live and in charge on SABC3. Now, gray skies and rainy conditions we know are forecast for the weekend, yes, but we might have something to keep you busy. Keep Movies. You 
that are releasing today. today. Dun, dun, dun. Another, another very OJ piece of Bastion <laughs> in the hot seat. Uh, the man of the moment when it comes to movies every single week who mm. really come through here and give us the best of the best that we need to check Even out. Even in 2020. Even in 2020 <laughs> yes. where things can be so unpredictable. We've but had three movies. <laughs> Here's this movie, um, The Witches, yes. which mm. is about a boy and his grandmother. Mm -hmm. His mother who then go off somewhere and then bump into Macbeth. <laughs> oh, you look like you witches. don't care. Guys sit down like, like the Don oh, They're just doing their own thing and then these witches rock up yes but the cast thank you please. sorry now i'm about to give you <laughs> oh no good go ahead i'm intrigued. excited i'm yeah. excited because uh -huh. anne hathaway is mm -hmm. there tevia spencer is mm -hmm. there you got my full attention please tell us about you're not it. even the stanley tucci man stanley tucci devil wears prada with oh. anne hathaway oh yes yes yes, yes. Dude, yes. He is so good he was in hunger games as well yeah what's so great about him is he's game for anything mm. he's such a high class actor yeah. oh goodness guys please watch spotlight heartbreaking mm. and then at the same time can act in hunger games as a complete clown yeah uh and this is particularly what's needed a year in a Roald Dahl adaptation. Roald Dahl is the kiddies book writer from back in the D. Mm -hmm. And so this is a remake from a movie that was an adaptation back in the D. 30 years, back in the day is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. 30 years ago was the original with Angelica Houston. Uh -huh. Big shoes to fill. Oh, the original wow, Witches wow. was and a cult. And how do you even top it? Yes. This is the problem. Anne Hathaway, I, I have lots of respect for her. She's oh. also super versatile. What? Uh, is that her? Yes. That wow. the ability to transform like mm. that. That was a sassy point I just gave you were that shocked. Like, uh-uh, you didn't just come in here with all of that. Wow. Anne Hathaway. This look, and look, it's visually pleasing as well. For it's, the kids, I mean, you can sure. see mm. there's, there's so much texture to the visuals. It's so nice. Wait, oh, okay. you said for the kids, sure? What? No, no, I, I, I haven't seen it myself. So it would okay. be unfair of me to prejudge. Mm. Mm. But I do have a bit of... Well, worries. So from the original movie, there was a lot of practical effects. You know, people actually have to like squeeze into a latex mask yeah. and look like the monster and it's six hours of makeup. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I sometimes get so tired of computer generated stuff oh. where you can like, you can totally distance yourself from the fakeness of it and, yeah. and whatever. The original movie was horrifying. Yeah, I suppose you and appreciate it the craftiness, the craft that goes into bringing these characters and their visuals. And I just sort of hope that they can bring that tactile kind of sense. Because mm -hmm. sometimes children do deserve their own spook stories. We mm. all have that one thing where we're like, no, that messed me up. Mm. Like, yeah. mm. and, and maybe that's a healthy thing, that children can fixate and be like, that's yeah. where danger comes from. Yeah. This is the place it's from. I don't have this general uh, pervading sense of fear. I fixate it. Uh, it's that thing that yeah. I know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, children, I'm not the child expert. You also expert. know that 2020 is not the only spook story they'll ever see. That there are movies <laughs> that can take them there. This year yeah. is not the spookiest thing you'll see. <laughs> yeah. What's been you. wrong with this year? It's uh, been delightful. Witches. I've been on this couch mm. the whole time. It's exciting though. I love the cast. I love the visuals. Every single thing. But I'm also looking forward to Dream Builders. Oh, for yes. the kids mm. again. Uh, yes. Uh, great for... Uh, especially JP if you know... JP Sebastian, I'm not appreciating no. your response to these movies now. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. I thought you were saying me insinuating for your kids, plural, <laughs> for your many, many kids. No. Uh, no, it's, uh, people probably deserve some bright, colorful joy in their lives. Yes. And for a small studio from Denmark, an animation studio, this isn't bad animation at all. For a nobody studio, this isn't Pixar, this isn't DreamWorks oh. or anything like that. The concept, I think we've seen it a couple of times. You can probably see already it looks a bit like Monsters, Inc. It, yes, does. it does. It does. It does. Uh, it looks a bit like Inside Out. Or it, like... Up. Up, uh, yeah, of course. So the design, they, they know that Pixar is the gold standard. And so when you're a small studio, you're doing all right if you're looking similar to Up. Mm. Yeah. It's really not a, an insult to be to make the comparison. But uh, the story is this young uh, lady uh, learns the power of lucid dreaming. This is actually something humans can do with training, where you learn to control your own dreams. Mm. Um, this is used to Kukulish. I do that what? too. I do that too. Oh, yes, yes. Every night. Of course. This, yes. is why you're, this is a whole dream now. <laughs> the reason you're with me, right? I'm dreaming and I'm creating it as I go along. <laughs> What's in that cup? <laughs> to be so Just a nice Nespresso. <laughs> you know, origin in I want that Nespresso. <laughs> I want to be sponsored by whatever they put in there. So, uh, again, like the a concept we've seen a couple of times before, but you can't, it's not so bad if, yeah. if like you, you can get the animation on point. Mm. If the voice acting's okay, I'm actually quite happy about this, is that they don't feel pressured to blow $20 million on getting Anne Hathaway doing the voice, and then the animation suffers for yeah. that reason. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, probably good for the kids. Let's talk about Salvador Dali 
in search of immortality? Um, certainly, you know the artist Salvador Dali, the uh, painter from Spain. Come on, that's too quiet on the couch. What's going to happen? I, if I say I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually nervous to say I actually don't know. When I say, so I'll tell you one of these paintings. The only the Dali I know is Dali Tumble Dali gives Tumble. you a cushion <laughs> after an interview. That's the only Dali I know. He's about as eccentric. They yeah. both have this air about them. Of, yeah. of, they're both characters, actually, in yeah. a way. Both arty. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the, for example, The Persistence of Memory was a famous painting. Uh -huh. With the melting clocks? The painting with the melting watches and clocks yes. in the desert? Yes. Okay, cool. You know what we're talking about. And without Salvador Dali, we, you wouldn't have Stanley Kubrick. You wouldn't have David Lynch. You wouldn't have the Dream Builders. You wouldn't have... He informed uh, about 80% of movies that have come out. Maybe 80% of horrors, to be fair. 40% of movies. And it's, yeah. this looks like a great documentary that gives an intimate portrait into a guy who was purposely an enigma. Yeah. Purposely put a character in front of us. We get into his personal life. Where he, uh, it's the relationship between him and his wife, Gala, who is also his muse. But it's not so much an expose. He says outright in his life, she is the reason for everything I am today. Wow. Which is very sweet for so a man who's a bit of culture right. and, yeah. uh, and, and an art and history in there all just sort of mixed up together. You look like you're trying to be invested in it, but, but it's no, 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 that no, espresso I, that's got you that, no, no, you've got no, this no. dreamy it's, look. No, no, it's not. I really am looking at that and thinking, look wow, that, that looks like something just that, that, that is a painting. You see, that is just such a rich, rich cultural sort of that's experience that we're being taken so, so, for example, one of the reasons why you have like Lady Gaga doing a character, the yeah. reasons mm. why you have like even... Uh, Nicki Minaj. Uh, uh, drag queens or anything like that is partly because of this culture of creating yes. the farce because it's part of your power. Yeah. Yeah. The documentary might help you get into how that's made. I love that. J.P. Sebastian is the man at his Expresso, your feel-good breakfast show. All the movies that are coming out today, releasing today. So if you're looking to do uh, something interesting with the kids or just by yourself, maybe yeah. date night tonight, there you go. We've sorted you out. Let me know what you think or let us know. Me Please. and Kuthe and J.P. would like to know <laughs> on our Expresso Morning Show SABC3 Facebook page what you Fair think of are. those movies. Which ones are you going to be checking out? And it's a breakfast bonanza in the Espresso Kitchen today. As we all know by now, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I mean, if you don't get some breakfast, unfortunately, fatigue's going to kick in a little later. You're going to be low energy later. The poor performance overall, you know how it goes. So introducing the Bewell <laughs> egg muffins. They're full of protein, vegetables, and of course, the omega-rich goodness of Bewell canola oil. And we have a very, very special guest. Private chef Neil Anthony is standing by to show us exactly how easy and nutritious this breakfast or on-the-go snack can be. Plus, he may even do some incredible bar flair with the b canola oil. Neil, <laughs> welcome, oh, my friend. It's been a while, my friend. Yes, it, it well, has indeed. I'm yes, excited yes. about this because yeah. I actually am hungry. Yes, you are hungry. Okay, cool. So, like we said, very, very, uh, very, very important. Most important meal of the day. And these are super simple to make. You can make them, have them, you can take them on the go, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. So, all right. first of all, we got your b well mayonnaise. And you it. It happened. Pop that there. It happened. <laughs> It's, it's very, very simple, actually. <laughs> um, so, yeah, again, super simple ingredients on this. We've got some uh, sanasi diced red onion. You could use a white onion if you want. Some green pepper. Yet again, you can go green, orange, yellow. Oh. Definitely need to I sort of a... I love the yeah. as well. Oh. Flambe. Breakfast and a show. I like exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so, mushrooms go straight in. Yet again, I mean, this is totally, uh, you know... To your own liking, you can really put in whatever you like. You could go with, you know, also great if you got some leftovers from the night before, chuck them in. It's a real sort of versatile dish. So, boy, we want a nice color on that. All right. Nice, a bit more oil in there as well. If you can do me a favor. Yes, I've got to uh, Give that a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. And, uh, and spray our, uh, we, it's, it's a non-stick uh, tray, but you can always, you can okay. always need a little bit of extra non-stick. All right. If anyone wondering, this is what, this, this is what he uses to uh, style his hair in the Actually, morning as well. Actually, that's what I've, I work with these every morning before I come to the show. <laughs> but it works for me. Yeah. Okay. We're all... So there we were sprayed. We were all lubed up there. <laughs> so that's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, this guy. Uh, egg muffins are fun to there make. There we go, fun you know? to make. Uh, so I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six eggs in there. Okay. Salt, pepper. A little bit of uh, a little bit of chili. Now that's a, a pepper juice chili. You can go with any with something a bit stronger if you like. Habanero. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. That works. That's for me my as Indian well. name. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Habanero. Oh, Habanero. <laughs> 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 You know so, what they say, life is going to be boring if you don't take whisks. Exactly. And that's why this that's is why, why you do such a great job, Neil. <laughs> so it's, it's important. So you whisk up your eggs there. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. You know, that, that next action. to go straight in. Uh, you know what, isn't that going to cook the eggs Definitely as well? Definitely not, no, no, oh, no. Okay. That's a massive myth. <laughs> but don't worry, Unif is Unif. 
If you want this recipe, please go to expressoshow.com. We're going to sort you out with this incredible Be Well egg muffins. Yeah, again, super Remember, simple. It's, it's very cool. Our, uh, Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, so you just spoon it in, you're getting, burning a bit of all the mixture. All right. A bit of mushroom, a bit of chili, a bit of this, a bit of this, a bit of that. A bit of this, a bit, a bit of, of this, this, a bit of that. You know, come see, come see, everything, just pop it in. <laughs> and then our oven is set at a nice, a nice high temperature, obviously pre, uh, preheat your oven. Okay, cool. Always preheat your oven, you know that. And, uh, and then, yeah, just give them a nice bake. And just before we bake them, we are going to take a little bit of cheese and, you know, Pop you know, what, I like actually that. enjoy yeah. the fact that the cheese is on the counter yeah. Yeah, as well. Yeah, it's also an yes. essential part of the uh, part of the dish. Absolutely. And uh, set, voila! There you go. There we go. Yes, I love. So it. you bake them uh, for about 15 minutes. They'll puff up and then they'll sink down slightly. And then a nice little garnish of, uh, you know, a nice little garnish of a little bit more of that. Give it a nice little shine. You can do that if you like. A little bit of spring onion. Serve what with a little bit got? of mayo. Serve with a little bit of. Uh, <laughs> And then you're gonna have to go like that. Thank you very much, and we're good to go. And we go. <laughs> That's the, that is the fastest, the best egg muffin recipe. If you missed all of that, go. please go to expressoshow.com. Thanks a lot to private chef Neil Anthony. That was a great example that he set for us. So go <laughs> execute it yourself at home. Enjoy a selection of delicious plant based meals and download your free copy of the Be Well Vegan Cookbook today. New Sensodyne Herbal Multicare. Sensitivity relief with natural herbal extracts. Welcome back. You are live with Expresso. What a day it's been, man. We've been having the best time in studio this morning with our Samsung family uncovering all of the incredible features and innovative technology behind one of South Africa's most loved brands. If you want to know how loved, just check a look at our Twitter account right now. Now, Samsung knows how to take what their consumers want and give it back to them in the most convenient and affordable, accessible ways with a consumer experience second to none. And we're back in studio with uh, President and CEO of Samsung Africa, Mr. Sung Yoon, as well as the Director of Integrated Mobility, Samsung South Africa, Justin Hume. Two good friends of the show. It's so nice to have you back in studio, guys. After too long, I can't believe yeah, it's been eight months that you that you have been. It's been far, far too long. Mm -hmm. um, Sung, I know you are a positive man. You're, you're always smiling and you're always happy and you seem to have an incredibly positive outlook for 2021 and how we can make it through it 
together, no matter what challenges we face. Mm -hmm. Can you share with us some of the next steps? What's after this amazing year that you guys have turned yeah. 2020 into? What are you looking forward to in 2021? Yeah, well, great question. Uh, you said the positive about the future in 2021. Uh, yes, I'm positive, but think about 2020 uh, is uh, all challenging time for all of us, but we truly believe we can overcome this situation by working together. Yeah. Why? First, I want to uh, like remind to South Africans, we don't know how much beautiful country we have and how resilient people we have. Right? By historically, we overcome uh, many, many challenges uh, in the past 20, 30, 50 years. So Samsung, we think at the end of the day, it's all about people. Right? People can uh, overcome together by united working together. So uh, regarding Samsung next step, it's an interesting uh, meeting uh, I just had a few days ago with the global CEO. It's a very small group through the uh, video conference. Is, uh, we talked about what's our performance of 2020 and what's our plan. Graham, do you, can you guess what the conclusion is? I, I reckon it's got to be looking at profitability. You've got to be looking at performance of the, on, the, on the financial side because it's been such a pressurized year, surely. In normal time, that's what we are doing. We touched briefly about those things, but interesting enough to me, the conclusion, uh, final direction for 2021 and next step is, uh, as, as uh, uh, I told you, put people first and family. And second uh, was uh, let's bring more innovative uh, product for South Africans and consumers can overcome this uh, situation. So simply speaking, three things, more innovative product and technology, and second, the more accessible uh, price and utilizing more local marketing. Um, and I've seen all of that come to bear, Justin, with the FE. <laughs> the fan edition seems to be exactly what Mr. Yunus just said, manifested in a device. Oh, it is. Uh, I mean, you know, the S20 we launched, uh, that was our last trip down here. Um, and South Africans loved it. Now we've been listening to them, bringing on all the favorites of uh, the S20, but as, as some commented, you know, at a more accessible price. But I think um, today we've got the competition running, right? Where you've got a chance to win the, F, the S20 FE. And so maybe it falls to me to give a couple of clues about uh, what are those features that you can uh, uh, win on there. So first, if we look at the, in front of us here, the, we've got four colors available. So we've got the, the cloud blue, the cloud navy, cloud lavender and cloud red colors. So and can we friends. note the cloud, the I'm cloud lavender? Graham, you and I matching the color. Oh, yes, go. <laughs> color coordinator. Um, 32 megapixel front facing selfie camera. So we know we always got to check out how good we're looking and that kind of thing. Uh, we prioritize the front camera. And you know, I spoke a little bit earlier on in, uh, before the, the ad breaks and that um, about this new normal being at home a lot and what have you. And, and um, you know, one of the things that you've got to think about when you're in your house is that your TV now becomes so pivotal, right? Yeah. Uh, it's got to have a real uh, pride of place in your home. It really is the centerpiece. And, yeah. Correct, and, and what we've got here is this is our new Serif TV. Okay, um, if the camera picks up here, I mean, just this design element is second to none. It's a completely Sorry. new identity. But what I can do with the FE here, I'll pick up my playlist, uh, my music playlist on Spotify as an example, and all I have to do is place my phone on top of the TV there, and immediately that music is taken straight onto, onto, the, onto the screen here. So we're able to share seamlessly in that environment. Uh, that might be one of my one of my favorite features of this incredible phone. So you've got to, now no excuse. You, you've been given at least four features that you can you can use to enter to win one of those four um, S20 FE editions. Uh, the the price point is also I think a big part of what makes it accessible, yep. um, unbelievably so. And especially after the pressures that we have been facing this year, how do we get our hands on this technology? So, I mean, you know that was exactly you know, one thing is about 
bringing solutions to, to South Africa. The other part is making it accessible. And uh, right now we're running, uh, you might have seen on, on the TV ads and that, the <laughs> Samsung Blue Tag sale. So getting up to 40% off, whether it be the phones or the Galaxy watches that, that we have there. So that's in our, in our mainstream product range. In our premium segment, we've got our buy and get, where you buy products like the Galaxy Z Fold 2 or the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, uh, up to 10,000 Rand off, uh, well, well, when I say off, wow. 10,000 Rand voucher back that's redeemable on the Samsung.com e-store environment. And that's not just mobile phones, that's on our TVs, on our refrigerators and the like. And then I think the one that most South Africans are waiting for, you know, it's comes around every year, it's the Black Friday sales. <laughs> uh, it is November, we're there again. Uh, so uh, I wouldn't say, check it out, your favorite retailers, they have all got amazing, amazing offers on there. And so that was really our commitment to, to SA. Not only incredible innovation, incredible technology, but we were gonna do something about awesome promotions to bring uh, the, the product to market. So we can all get fully connected. I, I, I live for the day when my house is a complete smart home mm -hmm. um, and that ecosystem is complete. Um, thank you so much for, for coming back, for enduring the coffee. I'm sorry that we had to put you through Grant's terrible coffee skills. Yeah, I will, I will try for lunch uh, <laughs> about the milk tart. I was confused that the milk tart or cinnamon tea table. <laughs> <laughs> we went traditional. We put a new spin on a South African tradition. Uh, but it's always such a pleasure to, to have you guys here. I think moreover because we get to see from our side how emotionally invested you are in the South African consumer and that leads everything that you do and that is a massive, massive tick for us. So thank you so much for that. And we also love the fact that we trend at number one every time Samsung stops by because why? We have got not one but four Samsung S20 FE edition phones. An unbelievable device designed by you the fan to give away. But what you've got to do is you've got to go to that Expresso Facebook page or Twitter post and you've got to tell us which is your favorite feature on this amazing, this game-changing smartphone. And you've got to use at Samsung South Africa on Facebook or at Samsung Mobile SA on Twitter and include that hashtag Galaxy S20 FE and the competition is only running up until midnight on Sunday. So you've got limited time. So get in on that. I, I would enter like 50 times if you can, because this is an amazing device. But I gotta say from our Expresso family to the Samsung family, we love you guys. Thank you so much for making the trip. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, thank Thanks. you. Thank you for having us. The reason why we trained at number one when Samsung is around is because with every single device they produce, it just has the thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I, I when I say the say thing. That. Yes. <laughs> and it's, it's like the mobile phone version of having like models on the table there. Do you oh, see the colors? 100%. Now we have received a number of responses on our social media platforms on that hashtag Galaxy S20 FE. This one comes from Charlotte. She says, my favorite feature of the Samsung hashtag Galaxy S20 FE is the space zoom feature of up to 30 times super resolution. I mean, who wouldn't like to be able to zoom their pictures and see what was going on during the capturing of the image? Hashtag Expresso Show. And then just one more comment. This one comes from Gerda. And to me, it is the camera feature because I'm a teacher and I'm constantly taking pictures of the learners to send to their parents when they are doing something excellently. And the, also the fact that the battery life is so much better. It helps me take more pictures. That is a beautiful oh, comment. Thanks yes. a lot for yours. And don't forget, we are going to be giving one of these away. 8 November, midnight, we'll find out who will be winning. So get hashtagging that beautiful Galaxy S20 FE as well as at Samsung Mobile SA. Good luck. Oh, I can make my day. Can you feel it, Mzansi? The core of your favorite places is just beyond the horizon. From Kruger Park to the Cape Winelands, summer in the cities of Durban and Josie to the endless reaches of those garden root beaches. Protea Hotels by Marriott welcomes you back. With Marriott Bonvoy members enjoying 25% off, including free breakfast, and non-members 15% off. Book your dream escape now on Marriott.com.
smooth or not smooth? By Tropica. Flip the cap. If you find smooth, you stand a chance to win smooth prizes. Tropica. Nothing smoother. Welcome back. Your timing is impeccable. Why? Because it's a smooth Friday on oh, Expresso. Friday, Friday, Friday yeah, baby. Right, get yeah. it right, I'm, um, of course, with <laughs> Tropica and uh, some smooth winnings today. Yeah, mm. we're going to be giving away a washing machine today. We've been teasing you about it throughout the week. I mean, we heard from Kutle that the one thing she really does desire in life is a washing machine. <laughs> Her knuckles tell the tale. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, the washing machine is not going to Kutle today. It's going to one fortunate Tropica fan who flips a cap and finds smooth on our smooth or not smooth flip the cap wall and we have rosemary apollis from kills river in cape town and uh, rada samuel from phoenix in kzn today who uh, are uh, joining us on a whatsapp call good morning ladies good morning. Hi. hey how's it going uh, I, I would imagine a little bit nervous, a little bit excited, all rolled up into one. I, I'm so sorry that only one of you can win, but you've got a fantastic prize to win today. And this is how it's going to work, ladies. Rosemary, um, you were drawn first, so, so you'll get to pick first. You'll select a number, uh, a cap on the wall, and we'll flip that cap. And obviously, if you saw, find smooth, you've won. Um, if not, then Rodder, who was drawn second, will select the flip the, the cap um, number next. And the first person obviously to flip a cap and that uh, finds smooth underneath it will win that amazing prize but only one cap has smooth under it on our wall so you gotta flip till it's found are you all smooth and ready ladies <laughs> rosemary let's get into it let's go start with you first what number will it be number five Number five, Gmail, let's see what's behind number five. Number five, not smooth. Oh, oh smooth. sorry, let's sorry, my try dear. again. Rudder, my dear, what number will it be? Seven. Number seven for Rada. Let's um, see what's behind number, number seven. seven. Not smooth. Oh, oh, no, Rosemary, let's try again. Let's go for smooth, please. Let's go try find smooth. Rosemary, what number will it be? Use the power of your brain. Connect with the numbers and give us a number. Pick a number. Smooth, please. R Rosemary. Rosemary? Are you still thinking? Rosemary, are you connecting? Are you having a <laughs> bit of a, a situation with the numbers? Rosemary, what number do you want us to choose? Oh, repeat number that. Two. Number two. Number two. Number two for number Rosemary. Two. And let's see what's behind them. Not smooth. Oh, oh, Rada, man. okay. On. Let's give come it on, one ladies. more try. Come on, what will it come be? On, ladies. Rada, come on. Number what will it be? Number two, please. Number two is already gone, my love. Uh, no, uh, this is for Rada. Rada, what will it be? Number nine. Number Rada nine for Rada. For okay, let's nine. see. Not smooth. Oh, okay, well. you're, gonna, you're destroying my nerves here. Uh, Rada, you're destroying my nerves. Rosemary, what number are you going to go for? We've got one, three, four, six, and eight. Those are your choices left. I see Rosemary does take her time. Rosemary, I know you're a deep Number thinker. Six. Number, Number six. six. Okay, let's see what's behind. Number is six. it? Is it? Is it? Not, not smooth. smooth. Okay, Rada. <laughs> you're down to only <laughs> one, two, three, four <laughs> options. Please pick a number, Rada. What will it be? Number one. Number one. Dun, 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 dun. Not, not smooth. Oh okay, Rosemary, <laughs> what will it be for you? Rosemary. Number Number eight, okay. Number go eight. Not Number smooth. Eight. Okay, oh well, two more to go. <laughs> oh, whose turn is it? Oh, I don't that even know whose turn it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it is Rada's turn now. Rada. Okay, Number three. Number three it oh, is. Okay, Rada. Just use the vibe. Use the force. Sun. <laughs> Congratulations, oh, Rada! Rosemary, I'm so, so sorry. You don't go home a winner today, but thank you so much for playing along and absolutely destroying our nerves. Uh, Rada, congratulations. You won yourself a washing machine. How do you feel? Uh, excited. Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is really beautiful. Congratulations. Well, uh, for the rest of you watching at home, you see how this, oh. how intense this can all go. But this is your chance to go out this weekend and enter Tropica Smooth or Not Smooth competition. What you need to do is buy any Tropica promotional pack with a red cap. Flip the cap. And if you find smooth underneath the cap, you stand a chance of winning. If you don't find smooth, then keep trying, as you've seen, until you do find smooth underneath one of the caps. Yeah, right? then follow the details on the pack and you stand a chance of winning amazing prizes and making it way, your way through to our grand prize draw where you could be flipping one of these caps. Mm. Um, you can find all of the details on uh, tropica.co.za. Mm. But what a show it has been today. Yep. It has been fantastic. It has. Really fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Festive Friday morning, Justin, Mr. Yoon, I mean Grant, thank you for coming through and elevating the feel goodness here and starting off our Friday morning and weekend on such a special note, right? Have a wonderful day today, 11.30, Jimmy Nevis, have a beautiful weekend, ciao! <laughs> Thanks, <everybody. laughs>